the launch and go aboard her. Your men hurt? No, they're all right. What happened? The boiler's exploded. I better go and see what damage was done.
Terry. Hello, Jean. What's the story? Well, I'll ride with us at the hospital and I'll give you the details. Is it one of Boroff's men? Yes. What has happened proves that Boroff is making the disintegrating gas somewhere near here. I'll question him when he comes to. Now, hold it. Hold it for a picture, nurse. Oh, boy, will this make a great picture. Now, Flat, hold it. Is this going to be a honey? Now, hold it, people. Hold it. Oh, boy. This disintegrating gas will travel by train to Canada tomorrow to be shipped to Moravania from there. The Coast Guard is so busy watching American seaports, a railroad station will never be suspected. It's clever smuggling the gas in night boats. But care must be taken should one of them break. What station do we ship from? Pierpont. Special goes through tomorrow afternoon. What if this man the Coast Guard took to the hospital talks? He is not going to. Torg will go to the hospital. Consciousness just a moment ago. Where is Borov? Only dispose of the disintegrating gas. Pierre. Yes. What Pierre? Tomorrow. What? Pierre. <laughs> Gotta take it. seat and drive back to town. All he said before he was knifed was pier, tomorrow, and port. As if he was trying to give me the number and location of some dock. That doesn't give us a great deal to go by. No. Commander Boyle speaking. Just a minute. Lieutenant Kent. Hiya, Terry. Say, gonna be at court this afternoon? I want to get a picture of you of that murder you captured. Good. I'll meet you there. As soon as I snap a picture of Jacob Manning, the explorer. Yeah. He's passing through Pierport on a special pretty soon now. All right, I'll see you later. Here, port, Pierport. It's a small railroad station. That's what the man was trying to tell me. They must be shipping the gas by train. Sounds logical. Get me the station master at Pierport.
Hurry it up. Hurry up. Yes? Special train at three? Thanks. It's 2.10 now. Sir, if you'll phone for a detail of police to meet me at Pierport, I'll fly there at once. Right. Get me the police department. Hey, take it easy there, will you, Grandpa? What do you mean, Grandpa? I run this place, and if I don't want you here, out you go. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Say, is the train on time? No, it ain't on time. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? Take it easy. Be careful, will you? Yeah, I'm sorry, boy. Customs inspecting. Can you tell me anything about the freight that's leaving here? Sure, I can tell you all about it. Beans, mostly. Outside the express. Oh, yes, and there's a load of dynamite going up to the mine. And here's a shipment of electric light bulbs. Electric light bulbs, huh? This man tell you all about the bulbs. He's handling it. Uh, can I help you? Yes, I want to see what's in these cartons. All right, I'll open one up for you. These were being shipped by motor van when the truck broke down near here. We're rushing them through by rail. Okay. I think I'll take a look at those beans. Light globes is missing. Do you know anything about it? No, I don't. Napper, do you know anything about this? Oh, yeah. I had it. Well, come on, where is it? Well, uh, I don't know. Tell me, where is it now? Tell me what you did with that light globe. You see, it isn't the light globe so much as uh, that I'm responsible for them. You understand? Yes. I think I do understand. Come on, come on. Well, uh, I. Uh... I remember. I put it on my camera. He seems to think an awful lot of that light globe. Yeah. I guess everything's all right. Bring out the rest of them. Another bulb you overlooked? Oh, thanks. Uh, thanks a lot. Do you mind very much if I drop this? Oh, it's only an electric light globe. But there's no use in destroying it. I wonder. You fool! <laughs>
cover, boys. Thank <laughs> you. 